You may be seated, but please feel free to join in in the singing of the Salina High School alma mater. select uh, ensemble where students have to audition to participate um, and also the focus of this group is that we do repertoire that is aimed more for a smaller ensemble okay so it's one thing for choir literature to be written for a choir of a hundred and it's another thing for choir literature to be written for a choir of ten so those are very distinct things and we get to explore that type of literature uh, with this ensemble, and I'm just so proud of the work that they've done. You may notice a bunch of funny names in the program. I promise it's not all foreign language, but they have really embraced all of this um, in a pretty stunning way. So, without further ado, this is Chamber Choir.
so I think for those of us who are familiar with choral singing, stuff that is a cappella is difficult, right? Because there's no reference pitch. They've got to maintain that through the ensemble across different things. Uh, so, you know, that's just a stunning thing for them to be able to do, even at the high school level, I think is fantastic. Uh, the first piece that you heard was Miserere Mei by Antonio Lotti, and the second piece is a traditional African piece from Zambia called Bonseaba. This next piece is another Latin piece entitled Glorificamus Te by Eugene Butler. <laughs> for chamber choir is a traditional African-American spiritual entitled Sometimes I Feel Like a Motherless Child, arranged by Roger Emerson. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child A long way from home 
This is my first time in 11 years, this is my 11th year as a choir director, I have never, ever, 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 ever thought about, what if I just do, like, all the guys? And then we have all the women sing a piece. Well, this is, you're about to find out what happened. I am so proud of the work. You would think, you would think that having these guys working in an ensemble, and it's just me and them, that they would be, ah, you'd be surprised, though. These guys have gotten to work, they have, been um, volunteering their time during IE and lunch and flex time to work on Messiah stuff, to work on this. Uh, we've got some very fine, responsible young gentlemen up here. So uh, I hope you enjoy She Is Evening.
without further ado, concert choir. Oh, shouts with glory, I shall mount 
above the skies when I hear the trumpet sounds in the trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet, the souls in the towns of Detroit, and the hills of the sound in the trumpet, the trumpet, the trumpet. He's given me my horns and he takes me near Gibraltar till I hear the trumpet sound in the trumpet, the trumpet. Oh, shouts with glory I shall mount above the skies when I hear the trumpet sound in that morning. Oh, shouts with glory I shall mount above the skies when I hear the trumpet sound in that morning, that morning, that morning, that morning. which is a traditional Czech uh, piece from Czechoslovakia that, that talks about the wonders of hiking in the Alps and all that. Uh, and then our last two pieces, of course, as, our, as always happens for the Fall Classics concert, is dedicated to our veterans. So at that time, I would like to acknowledge our veterans, but first, some Stoda La Pumpa. <laughs> Oh, 
That's a fun one. I, when I handed it to them, they were like, what's a stodola pumpa? <laughs> I, your guess is as good as mine. Um, now I would like to raise my microphone. Now I would like to acknowledge any veterans we may have in the audience. Veterans, could you please stand so that we can honor you? just a tack on, um, sort of a encore, sort of a classic, God bless America, um, featuring our soloist, Ari Enyart. 
But when the choir comes in, feel free to join, join in. You know the words. I can mouth the words to you ahead of time so you know that's what I do to them. I'll show you. What? <laughs> <laughs> they won't know the words. Come on. Here we go. Don't tell me where it's